morning guys welcome back to the vlog and yes i cut my hair i know that's the first thing you probably noticed where all his hair going so i did decide to cut my hair that was just a pandemic project and i grew it out i saw how it looked and it was a bit difficult to maintain and i didn't like it so i decided to cut it all right so that's uh, one achievement done Yay! all right so if you notice the chimney behind me is actually clean i decided to finally clean it after seven months I know it's it's been a while but it's finally clean after seven months uh, it's not perfectly clean because i did use it yesterday so um let's get to today's video all right guys so in today's video we're going to be doing a little performance upgrade on the gymney again in today's video we're going to be installing a transmission cooler i picked up this a few days ago so Let's get to the unboxing to see what's inside. All right, so this is what's inside the box. So this is a Heaton 679 transmission cooler. This is a plate and thin pipe. And this is what's inside the box. So you got a manual ins installation instructions. You got some fittings here. All right, you got a piece of hose. Underneath, you got the transmission cooler itself. So again, this is the Hayden 679 transmission cooler. There you have it, that's uh, what's in the box. I'm not gonna be doing the installation of this on the chimney, just because the transmission on the chimney is a bit sensitive and I don't trust myself to work on it so I'm gonna leave it to the professional so I'm gonna head across to the wizard himself Karen you all have seen him on the channel before he's the one who works on my chimney so I'm gonna head across there now he tell you more about the transmission cooler the importance of it and why we install in one on the chimney so I'm gonna head across there and I'll catch you there All right, so Karen, what's, what's the point of the transmission cooler? Well, the point of it really is to keep the oil at the cooler longer life in the transmission. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad do you recommend one of this? For a on a gymnasium? Yeah. 10. 10? <laughs> yeah. Whether it modify or not? Yeah. All right, so I can check Karen. Karen is the one who did the uh, lift on this. So you can check the previous video for that. Uh, if you need anything, if you need a gymnasium service or modify or anything, check Karen. I'll put his information in the description. Would highly recommend it. Alright, so check this out. Karen, just do our engine swap on this. Karen, go in my. <laughs> wait, wait. What type of engine? M2 DVTI. And you swap it in here yourself, right? Yeah. Everything. Tell her, check him out if you want anything done with Jimny. He's the man. You only the gearbox need to. Yeah, gearbox. That's rebuilding. Rebuilding. Mm. And then this up and running. Yeah. It's an off road monster. So this is Darren. Hello, hello. Darren had one of the 
tallest J before the three Jimny in Trinidad. Other than Jaren. Other than Jaren. Darren, all of you are running. Huh? All of you are running your Jimny. Four inch, Procom yeah. Springs, Skyjackers, Shocks, and a three inch body. And what size are we left? 33, 12.5, 15. Alright, I'll put um, I'll put a video of his Jimny on the screen for Right, but he do have it again, he sell it. I don't, I don't know why he wants to sell it in. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so Karen just finished to the install the cooler. Everything finished underneath. So you want to hook a baggy bumper, nice it. Alright, so everything done. Karen finish. Go up on the bumper. Everything installed on good. Karen, thanks, buddy. Yeah, man. Darren? Yeah, man. Alright, guys, just reached back home. We finished install the transmission cooler. If you enjoy the video, leave a like, drop some good vibes in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next one. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. Never gets me down, city